What's going on everybody and welcome back to Comic Breakdown. If you guys are new to the channel, do me a favor, hit that sub button, hit that notification bell, make sure you're not missing any of the awesome content that we have coming out. With this video, we are jumping into Action Comics, our Superman 2022 annual. If you have not been keeping up with everything going on in Action Comics, be sure to check out the link in my description as well as the top of this video. It'll get you caught up on everything going on with the War World Saga, Superman learning about a lost tribe of Kryptonians, being enslaved by Mongol, creating a team known as the Authority. They went to War World to try and free everybody. Unfortunately, this is a battle that they lost. Now with small pockets of resistance, they are fighting back trying to take this planet over. As this story reaches its pivotal breaking point, the 2022 annual is giving us a story of two types. Titans, the humble beginnings of Superman, and the chaotic brutality that made Mongol who he is today. A story written by Philip Kennedy Johnson and Cy Spurrier. The artists are Dale Eaglesham and Ian Churchill. The colorist is Lee Lothridge. Be sure to buy the comic, support the industry, and with that being said, let's dive into this breakdown. Alright guys, so this story, it picks us up with early days Clark Kent. These little things, these are what made Superman the person he is today. As this progresses on, this is a story about how he dealt with one of his first bullies. Out there on the soccer field having a grand old time, there's a kid by the name of Caleb Withers. He's overly aggressive, he teases everybody, he's just a mean individual. One day they kinda rub it in this kid's face. Clark had used his powers just a little bit to speed himself up and score a goal. Martha having a conversation with him, letting him know that he can't do these things. That one day he will be able to share his gifts with the world, but she knows there's reason for this. Clark wouldn't be one to just use his powers as he begins explaining how this kid is just mean to everybody. He was hoping that by this kid losing, it would teach him a lesson. These little pep talks with his mother, these are what defined him, what made him the man he is today. Letting him know that being special, this is easy for him. Some people will go their whole lives never knowing what that is like. They have to work twice as hard, 10 times as hard as super man would ever have to do. That he should always find a way to guide people into being the best version of themselves. That kind of power, it can change the world. This is when we are taken to the early days on War World, before Mongol took the throne. This day is the calling. The weak ones will be weeded out and put into exile. Only the strongest survive and stay. What we see is this young man, before he became the ruthless Mongol. There was some kind of kindness inside of him. Once upon a time, there was a young boy who didn't strive to destroy everything and everybody, but someone who had a little softness in his heart. Of course, here on War World, that softness is seen as cowardness. It is seen as weakness. Even if he were to survive this trial, they would still be exiled because of his actions. Even being a son of Mongol, this weakness to the bloodline cannot exist. And his mother, she is not kind, she is not loving. The only thing she cares about is having more power, of being in that palace and having her son kill his father and take the throne. That even in their exile, they will come back stronger and he will repay every single debt. Taking us back to Martha and Clark. As the soccer game ends, we see the bully Caleb. He kicks a soccer ball and it hits Martha in the back of the head. When she falls down to the ground, we see that a wig falls off of her head. Clark being completely shocked, not understanding exactly what is going on. Most of the time, when someone is bald like this, it usually has to do with cancer and chemotherapy. And though young Clark, he wants to go knock this kid for a loop, Martha 
just stops him. The truth is, that kid would probably break his fist on his jaw. Real strength, it comes from getting back up, not knocking things down. But going home that night, he couldn't help but think about this over and over again. Sneaking off of the farm, he heads into town to take his bully's bike. In the midst of taking his bike, what he hears is the bully's father, Caleb's father, is just being so very cruel to him. What Quark didn't understand is that Caleb, he had a horrible home life. And though this doesn't necessarily excuse his behavior, we can see that this, this bullying, this way that Caleb is, it is the only way he knows how to act because that is how his parents have taught him. As his father curses him and talks down to him, he goes outside, gets in his truck while he is drunk, takes off down the road going through a cornfield. As he is headed directly into traffic, into the highway, Quark is able to stop the truck and save this man's life. In doing so, the man was kind of injured in the accident. The truck is demolished and Clark takes him to a hospital. Dropping him off at the steps, he hears a conversation on the inside. This conversation is his mother. She is currently going through chemotherapy, having to do an all-nighter. This is when it is confirmed in his mind. He understands that his mom has cancer and he sees for the first time how truly strong his mother is. Taking us back to our young Mongol, him and his mother now exiled. They have to walk the hellish wastelands and try and survive. There are no kind words from his mother, no words of encouragement, only brutality, only guidance on how to survive, only plotting for the day of revenge showing him how to survive out here by killing whatever they need to eat. Killing one of these dog-like creatures, he goes to bring it to his mother, telling her that she needs to eat so she can gain her strength. Because of this act, his mother just beats the crap out of him. Because war zooms, they do not protect. This act he just did, it shames her. It shames himself. This is the exact reason that they were exiled. There are tribes of hunters out here that will eat their own, that are straight up cannibals. You cannot show kindness in this world. By protecting others, by protecting your mother, you weaken yourself. You should always choose your own life before anybody else's. This is how they endure when others cannot. Taking us back to Smallville, we see young Clark trying to cut off his hair. Recognizing that his mom has cancer, he just wants to give her something. But from cutting shears to chainsaws, not a single one of them will cut. As he struggles with dealing with what his mom is going through, we pick back up on the soccer field. And while Caleb is still harassing and bullying everybody, some of the kids, they start to bully him back with his dad being a drunk. The only one to stand up for him is Quark. Caleb, not really understanding how to deal and process with this, he goes to punch Clark, and Clark makes it look like he is knocked down to the ground. The kid barely even scraped his skin, telling his bully that you're not him getting up off the ground and letting him know that he doesn't have to be his father. Taking us back to the hellish wastelands, the cannibal tribe has caught up with the yet-to-be Mongol and his mother. The two of them about ready to get taken out and eaten, that is, until a bull mammoth arrives. A giant creature that many are terrified of. As it begins to charge in on them, we see his mother grab a rock and distract the beast. One of its horns piercing her body. The young Mongol takes the opportunity, he leaps into its mouth, and he drives a spear right through its head. With the death of the bull mammoth, he goes over to his mother's side, trying to figure out why she did that. All of the teachings that he has been taught go against the very thing she did. Why would she risk her life? Why would she sacrifice herself? The truth is, this tribe, they are going to take him in now. They are going to teach him their ways. She let him live 
so that they could get revenge. So that he could take his rightful place on that throne. To kill Mongol for what he has done to them. Picking back up in Smallville. We are picking up with the Kent family. Getting news that Martha's chemotherapy it has been very successful. She is looking at a full recovery. They didn't want to let Clark know about this information. Just not to worry him until there is something to truly worry about. Being at such a young age. They didn't want to burden him with this. As they all celebrate and are having a good time, we see young Caleb come into the room as he apologizes for calling her names. What we see is that he has shaved his head, showing how truly apologetic he is. These are the little things, the things that can change the course of an entire life. Years later, once they are grown up and adults, Caleb, he has moved on to great things. Working for community youth outreach programs. He is helping the kids become the people that they will be tomorrow. Now we can't say that Clark's actions back in those days made him the man he is today. But those small acts of kindness, these are what help lead people in the right direction. This is how you change the world. Back on War World, we have the soon to be Mongol making his way back into civilization trained ready to kill he makes his way to the doorsteps he asks for a meeting with mongol letting them know that his time in exile is over and he has come to take everything and that will be the end of this issue so let me know what you guys think down in the comments this was a beautifully written story 100 percent this is how you write a superman story this is everything that that symbol stands for and it's showing us how the little things on how you are brought up how things can change so drastically from one person to another if you are brought up with understanding with love with respect with discipline you have the possibility to change the world and do it for the better we also learn on mongol side that hatred anger self-loathing when you lack hope when you lack love it can turn you to a very dark place even if there was ever a small sliver of hope inside of mongol it was snuffed out at a very early age he became the person he must to survive in no way shape or form is this justification for being mongol or everything that he has done this is just the way the world worked out for him being born on war world being cursed with being a son of mongol there was never any other path for him but destruction so let me know what you guys think down in the comments let me know your thoughts let me know your theories if you would like to support the channel you can always do so by hitting the super thanks button this button will let you donate directly to the channel and every little bit helps us out now if you can't do that do me a favor hit that sub button hit that notification bell make sure you're not missing any of the awesome content that we have coming out and until the next breakdown